Welcome to Kitty Plays Morrowind. I am Nighty the Black Panther Kitty and I'll be your host for this episode. Last episode we returned the quest for Edwina. We gave her a um, plan blueprint for some Dwemer Scarab and she asked us to go to Gnesis Egg Mine to find even more blueprints. But before we do this our good friends over here were concerned about our health, so we are going to head to bed and sleep until we are healed. There we go. How does the day greet you, friend? Ah, very good, especially since I see you. I need to head back over to Sedrith Mora because I do intend to talk to the council there. Let us see if I can effectively... Uh, yeah, downstairs. Through the Imperial Shrine. I'm just passing through. And down here to find try and find yet again the council hall which I'm pretty sure was here also not just the tower of that mage the head of the council Any time now. so I thought this was the council hall but this seems to be rather the mages tower maybe now by day and with a clear sky we can find what we are looking for easier. So we already know that nobody likes us here. Maybe it is this building over here. So maybe this weirdly shaped thing is the, let's say the outskirts of the council building. So we always went past that, but maybe we just need to go through here. It could be that, yeah. <laughs> it looks very likely that this is the council hall now. Okay. If it is, then this is the place where I can start joining the house. Yeah, it is. Darlene Arvel. Okay, also I'm going to real quick check the journal check the journal because I should ask Arara Uvalas, that's the name that I was looking for, whom to ask about that haunting. So this is the council hall. And there are there is Arara Uvalas, mouth of Master Niloth. What is such a mouth though? I am a mouth in House Telvani. I speak the words of my patron here in the Telvani Council. Who is Master Niloth? Yes, he is my patron and I represent him at the Telvani Council. Master Niloth lives in the Tower of Telnaga here in Sedrith Mora. What do you want? Well, I'm here to talk to you about the gateway haunting. I inspected the manifestations into the south turret bedchamber of the Gateway Inn. I examined the site thoroughly, but I found no evidence of a restless spirit or ancestral influences. The ghost itself is trivial and easily banished, but I don't know why it reappears or how to stop the reappearances. I can't be sure, but my experience and intuition tells me that a conjuration expert is involved. By that, I mean a mage skilled at summoning ghosts. That's all I can tell you. But do you know any conjuration experts? A mage skilled at conjuration is adept at summoning otherworldly creatures, including ghosts. Okay, okay, I know I have to find another conjuration expert. By the way, can you tell me something about the house? 
House Telvani is one of the great houses. We value talent, knowledge and initiative. Perhaps you would like to join? Of course I would like to join. Yes, you may be a worthy candidate. Would you like to join? Of course. Are you certain? Remember that once you join, you cannot join any other houses. Perhaps you would like to hear our rules. Well, what are the rules then? We trust all members of House Telvani to use their own judgment. If you steal from another Telvani, but still live, then you clearly deserve whatever you stole. Murdering your opponent by magic or treachery is the tri traditional way of settling disputes. If you win, then clearly your argument has more merit. You may be expelled, as in other great house, but most Telvani will not care or even know about it. Does this appear to you? <laughs> well, yeah, of course. You are now member of House Telvani. Welcome, Hireling Nighty. When you're ready, speak with me about your course and advancement in House Telvani. Well, that's it. We are now officially a member of the house. So, how about we ask for our first core? Master Niloth needs five portions of slot soap. Okay then, where do I find the slot soap? Yes, five portions. Here are 500 drakes. You can keep what is left after you purchase it. Thank you, very generous. Goodbye then, Lady Avara. And I will find that conjurer, mind you. So I'm going to real quick go to my notebook and write down slow soap for house to uh, Let me write down five, else I have to check. And I'm just writing it down for the Uh, because I'm going to try and figure out the haunting first. Okay, so I assume that it is someone here in the city. So we're looking for someone. Let us just check all the houses. <laughs> Let's first check the convicts over here. Maybe they are more likely to tell us something. Milos. Yeah, see? He likes us more than the others. Kadar, I guess ah, I guess this is not this is not the jail, this is the slave market. Because slavery is legal here. That's unusual. Ho oh, there, Outlander. Are you here to buy slaves? Slavery is quite legal in these parts. Can I help you find someone in particular? We are open for direction to services. Well, I'm looking for slow soap. Um, and yourself might have some. Her shop is on the north side of town, next to Farah's hole on the wall. Well, yeah, this is the slave market. I might even buy some scaly slaves later but I'm going to set free all my furry friends oh well, there is the alchemist actually that's weird for here is the entrance but I figured it's the way around no they like us even more yeah Welcome to Sedrith Mora, Nighty. This is the district seat of House Telvani. We see many outlanders here, but Sedrith Mora is not a very friendly town, especially if you're an outlander. Can I help you find services? Well, I'm actually was planning to buy some slot soap from your. You can. I mean, you can just buy it now. Oh, ah, only 50. Okay. There we go. 
So we spent five gold on the entire on the entire quest. Mm. We can neither ask about the conjurer nor about the haunting, so let's head on. Maybe people here will like us more now, since we are members of the house now. This could very well be. Let's check. Yes, yes they do. Yes, Nighty, I'm Anruin. Go ahead. I'm sure you have questions. <sighs> Once you're in the same faction as them, they like you. Okay, now let's go to... These are just some people. Let's go to the sorcerer. First address if you are about magic. That's the Morakton Guild. I don't want to have any business with the Morakton. There is the sorcerer. Ma'am? Welcome to our fair town, Nighty. If you're new to Sedriff Mora, I'm sure you'll see much that puzzles you. Do you have any questions? Yeah, I'm looking for a conjuration expert. Hmm, a conjuration expert? Here? In Sedriff Mora? Well, my first thought would be. Nasnilov, the mage lord. He's a mickle wizard, but conjuration is not a specialty. In fact, I don't know anyone in Sedruth Mora who teaches conjuration. No, wait. Olenia Laren at the mage's skill, a wolverine hall teaches conjuration. I'm sure of it. Well, thanks for that information. Well, maybe I, I have. I'm interested in some of your spells, actually. Feather, I think we already have a feather spell. For someone who's not that good at, at summoning you have at conjuration, you have many conjuration spells to teach actually. Um how about spell making do we have? No, no nothing interesting to be honest. There we go. Mages Guild, eh? I think someone has to answer for something. Or for some things. I don't say anything, I'm just passing you. I'm currently being angry with my fellow guild member. That is, if she was the one who did the haunting. Just passing through, heading upstairs to the Mages Guild. There we go. What can, what can I, I do, do for you, friend? Now to find the name. It wants something. What you. Do you, want you. I have some questions for you. Do you know something about the gateway haunting? Oh, me? So. You suspect me of being behind the gateway hunting? <laughs> that squeeze, but Garrell is taking pretty hard, eh? That clown had me brought up before the magistrate when I first came here for not having my hospitality papers. <sighs> but I suppose you're right. The joke is losing its freshness, and I don't want anyone hurt. Go tell Garrell that the gateway hunting will end, but. Do me a favor, will you? Give him these ghost-free papers from me. <sighs> oh, Lenny. I'm face-palming so hard right now. What can I do for you, friend? So childish. And 
arrogant. What's this about? Thinking that just because you're a mage, you're exempt from bureaucracy. Really? Yes. Well, at least the ghost is stuck on now. And maybe we will be more liked now by our by our bureaucrat friend. Well, let's first collect some fresh fiber. Or try to and fail, I guess. Still shaking my head in disbelief. A fellow major skilled member. So disrespectful and... Uh, what's the word? Okay. <laughs> Silly. Well, let's head back inside the north wing of this place. That's... Yeah, Khajiit are better than Lizard. And I should know, I'm a Khajiit myself, right? So let's head downstairs. Sir, I figured out the gateway haunting. You, uh, no, that's not it. Mm, conjuration expert. Mm. Now, what do I need to click? Huh. I explain what happens and I'm going to include her name, to be honest. I should have known. Um, well, I should have known. She was quite abusive when she was released, blamed me for the whole thing. When it was she who failed to obtain her hospitality papers, I will deal with her in my own time. And you have my thanks. You've gotten rid of the ghosts, so you shall have your reward. I have a fightering, a majoring, and a thievering. Each ring fortifies the attributes most prized in each of the specialized disciplines. Which ring would you prefer? Hmm, I don't need to think long about that, I'll take the mage ring. Here is your mage ring. Good day to you, and thank you very much for your existence. And when I speak with my fellow Telvani, I will speak favorably of you. I guess this is the second way to make all the other traitors trade with you. The mage ring. Cast when used. <laughs> I was hoping for a permanent effect. Fortify intelligence and willpower. Well, on the other hand, fortify intelligence by 5 points means we get 7.5 points of magicka. I'm going to wear it, even though that doesn't change a thing. And then head back outside. Let's just use the door down here. Yes. It's easier to just leave like that and then enter here. <sighs> well, well, well. Let's take the soap back to House Telvani and complete our first core. Council House into the Council Hall and let's talk to Man Uvalas. Do we have the slot soap? Yeah, here it is. Perhaps this will put Master Needle in a better mood. 
He's old, you see, and has trouble moving about. I use the soap along with some rue brush and bone meal to make an ointment for his joints. Oh, do you have other course for me? Uh, Master Nilov asked me to acquire a staff of the Silver Dawn and deliver it to him. Well, what about that staff? I believe someone in the Mage's Guild here in Cedrith Mora has this staff. Master Nilov wants the staff, and I cannot leave my duties here long enough to fetch it for him. Go to Wolverine Hall, get the staff, and bring it back to me. Well, easy as that. Guess we just need to buy it. And if they don't want to part with it, this means that this is the official quest where we need to choose between Major Guild and Tal's Telvanni, which means I'm going to do more Major Guild quests before I'm going to get myself expelled. my voice getting a bit worse again. It's good that I'm... That this is the last episode that I'll record, so I'm going to check out the staff. And if that doesn't work, I'm going to... And not go... So if, if it works, I'm going to head back. We still have 10 minutes. Oh, well, I'm going to play a little bit. So either I'm going to head over to Kinesis, or I'm going to Give the staff back and get the next quest. It's very simple as that. I already thought it was time to end the episode, but we still have time. Go ahead, You're blocking the way. I want to go ahead. Ahead of you, that is. And honestly, I don't know any other way to, to go here, except for passing through the Imperial Shrine. Good wishes to you, friend. You're the Enchanter. Maybe you can help me and sell me something. A particular staff. She does not have that staff. Do you know something about the Staff of the Silver Dawn? Yeah, Ariel has a stuff like that. Ariel. Can you tell me something about the staff of the Silver Dawn? Yeah, I have a staff of the Silver Dawn. I don't use it very often, I prefer daggers myself. I'll sell it to you for 300 drakes. Oh. Well, the price you pay for being in House Telvani, I guess. Should you need something, I will be happy. I know we're doing messenger duties, basically fetching stuff for Anytime. Master Nilov, but well, that's everyone starts small. That's what it takes. Sorry, we're going to advance the rank soon enough. It's still annoying, but... It is what has to be done. <clears throat> also, you don't want to get the old man, Master Nilov, upset, do you? Hall. And 
hand to Madame Uvalas. Have you found the staff of the Silver Dawn? Yep, here it is. Good, I hope Master Niloth will be pleased with it. I have this old dagger I no longer use, and I can teach you to blind your enemies as the staff does. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Teach me to blind how, my, how to blind my enemies. Yeah, of course, she does. Now if you'll excuse me. Oh, do you have some more cores for me? I um, do not have more cores for you. Check with my patron, Master Niloth, or with the other mouse mouths. Well, I'm going to check with the other mouths then. Hi, Galos. I am Galos Mofendis, the mouth of Master Arion. Hello, Ma uh, Galos Mofendis. Do you have any cores for me? Master Arion wants a message delivered to the Vaith Fur. Would you carry this coded message? Of course I would. My patron Master Ariad wants this coded message delivered to the Vaith Fur. He lives in Telfer. You might need some help getting there. Why not take these potions of water walking and these potions of healing and perhaps a few potions of swift swim as well. If the Wave Fur responds to this message, please deliver his response back to me. Very well. That is our next goal. Let us see if he has marked our destination on the map. He did, it is down here. So we have to, tra we have to traverse the aisles and this is why we have the water walking and swift swim potions. There we go. So it is to the southwest. So we first go to the southwestern tip of this island. And then traverse island by island. Simple as that, isn't it? Right. Okay, so let me save. And then I do know that we have water walking ourselves which is not that expensive but also fails if our fatigue is low so I'm going to let my fatigue recharge real quick oh we also have don't we have our fatigue potions that we brewed ourselves rising force no we, we sold them didn't we yeah Well, I can simply. I think when I wait, my fatigue. Yeah, my fatigue recharges. So now we can walk on water for 60 seconds, which is not too shabby. See, we can pass. This is easy. We don't even need the potions because we can already water walk. Nightshade. No, like Anther. Neat. There is a bull match. But we're not bothering it, so it should not bother us too. Let's head on. Keeping my eye on the in the lower right corner because this icon fades when the effect starts to wear off, so we can recast the spell. Of course, now we have a failure chance, but it succeeded again. Our 
move to the next island towards Telfer, and I guess I can already, yeah, I can already see the tower of the wizard we are, we have been told to visit. Well, let's first collect some. Ingredients. I don't care about the water walking over here anymore. And here we go. I think you can just swim over that one. On the other hand, doing this does train our skills, doesn't it? yet another wizard and before we go and deliver our coded message I'm going to take my leave roll the dice and we see each other in the next episode bye bye